Did you feel a, a greater responsibility, Bob, doing a, a film that, that David had so much personally invested in? Oh, of course. I mean, um, um, <coughs> I understand what he... But I don't like to get emotional, but I know exactly what he goes through. You understood some of the same experiences that, that he's had with his son. So clearly this became an important, cathartic experience for all of you, you know, a communal experience. I mean, when I first showed him the screenplay in his home, you know, we all know people who have faced these challenges and we've all been touched by these people and we love these people, you know? And, and uh, as he says in the movie, I, just, I'll do, I wanna do everything I can to help you get back on your feet. And there's nothing harder in life than when you can't, you can't figure out what to do. You try everything and you, and you, and you must never stop, you know? Your heart just has to keep growing. But when I first was in his apartment and I was talking to him about the screenplay, this is what happened. And I thought he was having hay fever and I realized, <laughs> And I realized he was having an emotional reaction. I sat there and I watched Robert De Niro cry for 10 minutes and I said, wow, he's really connecting with this material and this would be a beautiful thing if it could work out because I think his heart would be there and it, it is there. Well, you know